Hey CJ, welcome back to Star Wars Night City Republic. So I've already attempted to record this episode several times, and unfortunately there's like this one area I can't go into, or the game just crashes. I don't know what the issue is. I've tried lowering the graphics, turning off grass, turning off um, shadows, nothing works. It's that cave right there, so we're just never going to be able to enter that cave. It's possible there's just something wrong with the files and I need to validate them, but um, this is just a really old game, and I don't know if that's the issue or not. We're just gonna have to ignore it. Hopefully it's not a problem. Or hopefully it won't affect our progress in the game. It's definitely a problem. Just gonna have some XP there. I don't wanna validate the files because there's some weird issue where it just doesn't, um, or like resets my settings. Annoying. Fortunately, I keep all the saves. Features are acting kind of weird too, because they're not hurting Rain Trial, but they would hurt Karth in my attempts to record this episode. Alright, let's do this. Um. Some stuff. Oops, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. There we go. There's some stuff we can loot. Life support package. Excellent. All right. Um, let's switch out. Candorous. For T3. I know we like never use T3, but there is something with computers in one of these tombs. I don't remember which. I think it's this one. Hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. But I have seen your character's model before. Um, who are you? Galen Lor, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Why not? Aren't there records? Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. What are you doing here? I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of a Janta Paul. Think a sword might be here? The runes say that he was interred here, so ooh, I, I think it may indeed be possible. Whoever found the sword could gain great prestige. Why don't you go in then? No. These tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. What makes this tomb so dangerous? From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Um, alright, uh, what do you know about the sword's powers? Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Alright, I'll be going. Of course. Can I loot this up? Oh, I can. Alright. Uh, that's not the tomb I was thinking of, though. Although I think there are droids in there. Maybe it's this one? Game doesn't ring any bells, but we'll go for it. Okay, good. The game didn't crash, and we have a mine we can disable. Um, I think it's because of my awareness. Ooh, constitution. Let's go with that. Maybe I already had that enabled, I don't know. I don't really bother repairing droids. 
Doesn't give you that much XP. Hopefully that was the only mine. Might find out the hard way though. Oh, creatures. Now I'm sure we'll be fine. Also, I probably want to turn solo mode off. I probably should equip T3 with some better stuff too. Uh, sure. Droid heavy plating. Oh, security is super high. Motion sensor awareness, awareness. Wait, that gives him proficiency with the blast rifle? No. Alright, um, I'll have to give him some kind of pistol. Let's give him that, and... It's ion, that's not going to be helpful. I should have done this off camera. Give him that. Oh, and you can also use the... Or a... Oh, I think I gave it to HK. Oops, okay, whatever. Some kind of droid... Equipment. What does this do? Speed. Let's give him the flamethrowers. Sure, let's give him a bunch of flamethrowers. We're never going to use these anyway. Sure. I'm sure I'm fine though. Yeah, these creatures aren't hurting me either. Is that actually healing? Wow. Excited? We're over there. That yeah, is healing. Okay, interesting. Guys, guys, where are you going? Another one is there. A lot of these things. Might be a faster way of dealing with them. Not too much to loot here. Also, only one way we can go. Try to recover this. Or the creature spot me. Oh, nice. All right. A lot of credits, though. I'll take it. What if we just force wave again? You asked for this. You asked for this. But that's like a faster way of dealing with them. No, I wanted the force wave. No, oh, didn't do that much. All right, whatever. console. And Delorean battle armor. Karth, you want Mandalorian battle armor? I 
actually worse. Never mind. He's also immune to critical hits and mind affecting. Wow. Okay. Um. What? Use a console, I guess. Open the door. Okay, that doesn't look ominous at all. Let me put on my gas mask. Breath mask, sorry. I mean, it might not matter. Octa stream surround you. Party chokes and falls over. Um, T3, you okay? <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Well, oh, this guy, okay. Contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. Who are you? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Mikol. Say hello, Mikol. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. Um, the old hermit hiding? What? Old Hermit? Can't that blasted Uthar teach a single thing right these days? Slander! That's what it is. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Um, uh, what if I told you I was Darth Revan? <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing, but not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. So he doesn't recognize me. Look, I'm sure we could talk about this. I'm sure we could. We could chat all day about it. But where would that get us? I'm quite determined, and you are quite helpless. Perhaps you have some questions. I'm not above delaying the test a bit. The results are always the same. Um, if I pass your test, why then you go free. Tell you what, I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophies. They're based on all I've learned studying Tulak's tomb. It'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. All right, fine, let's do this. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really? Yeah. So then, it's expensive. This is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die. As long as the game he doesn't crash, we should be Nicole. fine. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. What if he dies? Then you win. If you die, then he wins. I thought this was self-evident. Did you not grasp the concept earlier? 
Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? We could both survive. Attack him together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Um I do nothing. He's a fine leader, you said. He's a good he's good for the Sith. Incorrect! What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, well. It's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? Help them. Um, I accept the reward in the system. So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that, that they're going to be following me. Bad idea. At any rate, here is your punishment. We just go our separate yes. ways. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole, or keep it to yourself? I refuse to answer this. And here I thought this question was an easy one. Oh, well, suit yourself. Oh. Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Did you just sitting over there? Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? I'm not going to play along. You're not trying to make me angry, are you? That would be pointless posturing on your part. Is this so hard? Hm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well, here's your reward. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? Uh, I won't give you a satisfaction to answer. <laughs> Such insolent students I get these days. You deserve this. And then some. I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. I'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or, or I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny. He's a nice guy after all. Students. I'll... That's it. Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! I'll just go ahead and level up right here. Wisdom, eh. What the strength right now? Even more power. Um, awareness? Yeah, it's been an issue, actually. And I'll bump up persuade, even though it doesn't matter. Maybe I could persuade, um... Uh, what's his name? Dustal. And it's probably going to recommend something weird, so I'm going to go with Destroy Droid. There we go. Fully healed. Either you're going to help. Yep, Droid. You want to help? 
Now it's going for T3. Ah, oh, T3! 4 v one we got this. I guess he wasn't a true Sith after all. I can't believe that I'm alive. You saved me. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. I saved you for last. Nobody deserves to die like that. Nobody. Yes. Well, I see what you mean. I've never... I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't... I mean, if you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. There's always a chance you could change your ways, Mikkel. You mean, the light side? I've never thought about that. Can you... Can you even go back? I've done some... I mean, I've hurt a lot of people. I... I don't think the light side is for me. But maybe neither are the Sith. Maybe it's time for me to leave. Thanks, I suppose. And good luck. Alright. So we him to the light side. And we're never letting him leave. Gonna break over in the sarcophagus real quick. So I just realized we're gonna probably have T3 actually hack it for once. Ooh, we had a lot of credits too. Ancient Sith tablet. Okay. All right, T3. You can actually open this, right? Nice. Crystal, okay. Useless. Um, unlock this now. More crystals, nice. All right, that's it for this tomb. I guess what we'll do is we'll leave it and um, off camera and in the next episode we'll start in the next tomb. Not the one we were just at, probably the one across from it. A little bit of a shorter episode this time, but I'll make up for the other one that's like 50 minutes long. If you like this episode, stay tuned for the next one. I'm TJ and I'll see you next time.